Hey, what's going on, boys? Sea God back again on some lowrider content for y'all. 79 Caprice Classic Lando Aero Coupe. So, as you can see, we got our Caprice. It is. And uh, so, what we're going to be doing today, boys, is we're going to be getting her hopefully to lock up a little higher. You feel me? Right now ain't too bad, but a little higher wouldn't be bad neither, you know? So, it, to be able to do that, here is a pair of Black Magic 4-inch extended ball joints, right? So, hopefully we may not have to shave this piece to be able to sit in the arm, but we more than likely will have to drill out the spindle to be able to fit this 5 8 bolt. But that's not too bad, right? And then we'll just bolt it in, bolt it to the spindle. Should be good, boys. But what we're going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and take some measurements, right? So this is all the way down on our passenger side here. So we're going to measure it from the top of the fender down to the floor. And then we're going to pick it all the way up, measure it, same distances. See what we get. And then after we swap our BJs, then we'll be able to see if we're actually getting more travel which i mean it's i think we will so stay tuned for that let me get on it boys all right boys so this is laid out here around at about 26 and a half from the fender to the floor Go ahead. So there you have it. We have figured out our heights. I'm gonna go ahead and jack it up now and begin removing the good old ball joints. And get her juked up, you know what I mean? And then we'll see what we gotta do from here, boys. But eat. So now we got her all the way yacked, boys should have full access to be able to see everything that we're doing now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and possibly not remove the wheels see how possible that is but basically you come on in here and you got your four bolts on your a arm see they even still have a little bit of movement but uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit well actually we're probably gonna remove it first from our spindle down here on the bottom and then hopefully that separates easily and then we're going to go ahead and pull these four bolts so let me give you a view of that spindle nut which hopefully you could see it but i don't even think it has a cotter pin so should be easy work and uh yeah see what we got to do from there boys but oh damn might be having to do something with these brake lines too we'll see so, wish me luck, boys. All right, boys, as you can see, we got our ball joint separated. This is our ball joint that was in our A-arm. So, I mean, as you can see, had a little bit of play and stuff, you know. I mean, it's not too bad, though. So, we are now going to go ahead and remove this ball joint, which hopefully is easy, you know. Just pull out those four bolts and hopefully it just comes right out. Um, and then we're gonna proceed to test fit 
more than likely you know like I said we are probably going to have to drill this out to 5 8 you know I mean hopefully that's easy also but who knows boys wish me luck though I'll bring y'all back ball joint came out pretty easy boys here's the bottom of the a arm a little something something you can see right here where it hits that's where it maxes out our a arm down underneath of it it's kind of like humped right there and you can see they just put a plate over it instead of like they should have bashed that in or did something you know but i mean it cleans up you know what i mean that chromal so next order of business now that we got our original ball joint out uh we're gonna go ahead and see if this fits the new one which i mean more than likely is probably not so then from there we're gonna have to make the hole bigger using like a, like a dremel or something so yeah boys that's basically it and then after that uh, then we're gonna have to go ahead and make this hole bigger here i got like a 5 8 drill bit i believe that's what it is so once we get that drilled out then we should be good boys hopefully so stay tuned all right guys so we got the upper a arm the hole enlarged to be able to fit the ball joint. We drilled out our spindle here with this 5 8 drill bit. So that works now, this fits. The last thing we're gonna do before actually bolting it on, well, actually, let me, the way I made this hole here bigger is with the combination of this drill, you know, just the side of the drill bit, running it out, and a Dremel, you know, to kind of finish her off. But uh, like I was saying, the last thing we're gonna do on this here ball joint um inside of there there's like a little ball joint i guess you could say and uh we're gonna be applying some grease to it just so that it's nice and free moving that way hopefully it doesn't break boys because that's the idea everyone always says these break so like i said i i'm only running four bats to the front pump so it's nothing too wild you guys seen how the switch was so we'll see how it actually sits fully locked up. I guess most people like, you see how this only has so much movement, right? Before it like locks itself out. There we go. See, so like you can hear it. So I guess some people, their cars lay too low or the springs are too small or whatever. And it tries to travel beyond that. And that's what causes the bolts to break. Supposedly that's what causes the bolts to break boys. Sorry. There's a loud truck, but yeah, so let me get the grease I got some red grease here somewhere and I'll get that grease and then I'm gonna bolt it on and bolt it on and then I'll show you guys what it's like on the whip over there. All right All right about those locos. So we ran into a couple of issues first issue um these are the bolts that it came with, right? They got like chromed out heads and chromed out nuts. Pero, if you see right there, boom. You can see right there where that thread got damaged, right? And you can see it. Well, that is due to this type of locking lug nut, or locking nut, that it, uh, it did that, you know what I mean? But, it wasn't able to tighten all the way up yeah this one as you could see i have it not on the car because i wanted to try and zoom it on to see if maybe it was just a defective bolt or nut on this other side that i have on the car see because you can see this side's already installed brothers and uh yeah so the issue is it's not tightened all the way because it only went about that far and it needed a tiny little bit more to tighten up or it might have gone less actually so we're gonna have to cut this bolt off and luckily i didn't use this one so we're not going to cut it but i got these uh grade eight bolts here i actually picked them up at menard so hopefully they're as strong if not stronger than these ones from black magic but yeah so unfortunately it's just the the type of nut uh i got a nylon lock nut to go ahead and replace it so that one will thread on nice and be able to tighten up so we're gonna have to cut this one off like i said and then get to it boys but it is what it is you know what i mean 
Uh, we got it shaved up a good bit. Everything fits. But, uh, so this is all the way down. And you could see our ball joint here is kind of like at an extreme angle on this backside. So I'm going to try and shim it up on the top. These back two bolts. I'm going to put like a washer or something back there to try and get the body of the housing here kind of like more tilted down the back is going to go upwards which will make it kind of go like that but very minimally you know that way because i heard that these snap due to whenever you lay it down it puts this joint right here at a crazy angle like it is right now and that's what causes the bolt itself to snap so it after we shim up the ball joint housing hopefully we'll have a little bit better angle with it all the way up it's not really at too terrible of an angle so i think we'll be okay trying to find that happy medium right in the middle where you can go all the way up and all the way down without it being at a bad angle so this side basically what it looks like nothing too wild it seems to have about the same height nothing too crazy this is still the the original one so you look in there and it's just the regular ball joint but nothing too wild brothers so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off replace the bolt and shim it up and see if it's a better uh travel and everything boys so yeet all right so there we have it boys as you could see this was our original bolt trash dude it was just trash look at this thing So like you could see like the threads are like completely destroyed. So I don't really know why this was included with the kit. Uh, maybe they had better luck a different way, but I ended up chopping it out. We got our new bolt in, um, fully secured. This is all the way locked up now. And it looks like our spring is like about to shoot the heck out of this bad boy. It is indeed a pretty nice lockup though, boys. This is the first view for you guys of it. Um, it doesn't look like too extreme of an angle here. Let's see, kind of extreme, but not. Nah, I mean it's it's extreme either way, boys. So I really don't know. We're just gonna have to chance it, I guess, but. Yeah, it's just an extreme angle going both ways, basically. But it looks killer, though, eh? So if we compare it to the other side, like if you look at the whip, obviously, like, sitting a little sideways, that's what that looks like. And then over here, it is pretty weak. As you can see, like, it almost looks like the car's, like, three-wheeling from the difference in height. So this side, not nearly as wild. You could barely see our springs coming out. Um, it does look pretty scary though. We may end up cleaning it up and welding our springs to the little pocket looking thing. Just because we're kind of scared, you know. But we're going to get cracking on this other side now. Homie just passed by. But yeah, pretty killer looking lockup though. Once it's fully done, we can have the car all the way up and then the back as well. We'll see what it really looked like, but for now it is kind of scary. Who knows? Might need to like sleeve the cylinders or something. Either sleeve the cylinders or something. They're pocketed, the springs are pocketed down pretty deep, but I wonder if it's possible that like the whole thing just shoots out. Who knows? Well, let me get it cracking on the other side. Or actually, let me set it down for you. I think I had showed it before, but. But yeah. So that's how that looks, setting her down. But as you could see, this was the angle that I was worried about. Because at this angle, clean up our chrome a little bit, but at this angle, it's like really, I'm pretty sure it's putting some tension on that bolt for sure. 
but uh, who knows, you know? Need to find something. Like I said, probably shim up this upper mount, but we're gonna save that for another time. I guess if they ever do break, then we'll try the shim method. But it looks like locked up also is kind of hardcore. So, who knows, boys, but shit, let me get to it. All right, vatos locos, we got it all knocked out. So, as you can see, here's our passenger side. I'll complete it up. A big old extension on that bad boy. You know what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and set you vatos up so you could see. I'll do it like the whole whip, you know. Oh yeah. So we're gonna take it off of the yak as well as hit the switch up. So Okay, boys. So yeah, we are definitely going to have to do something. Probably a sleeve, cause that is super duper sketch, dude. That's how that is though. So I mean, brake line slightly stretched, not too bad. But there it is though. That's pretty yacked up like that. Kind of scary. But <laughs> this side doesn't look that scary. But yeah, if anything, we'll probably have to sleeve both sides or do something, boys, because it don't look healthy. So there it is now. Doesn't look as silly. All the way jacked. Damn, it looks pretty sick actually. The front before did not go up very high. So now that it does go up decently high, it looks better. I think it looks better anyways. I'm pretty sure we're locked all the way around. A Little bit of a high lock up build boys. Just need to do something with that side, holy shit. Looks like it's about to fly out, dude. That's scary as heck. <sighs> but yeah, that's it though. Clearly the alignment is really bad. Because this side looks like it's like turning this way. And this side is also like turning this way. So they're both going outwards. But uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, it looks pretty killer though. High ass lockup compared to before. Before it didn't lock up very high. The arms is a pretty good limiter. Where it's hitting on this side, it's not necessarily hitting on the other side because they reinforced it a little differently. But I mean, I'm pretty sure the lockup is still pretty identical. It does get up there. So from the view down below, you see the chromed out A arms, chromed out steering. It looks pretty legit. Still has a pretty good amount of camber. Our alignment is trash. So yeah. 
Yeah, see we want our cylinder here to be kind of like in the middle. You can see right now it's kind of like tilting back that direction. So that's why that looks very, very sketch. But other than that, it looks pretty sick, I think. Pretty high lockup. Um, in the beginning of this video, we measured from like the floor down to the... Uh, let's see if it actually... Oh yeah, she's locked. Okay, so we're going to get our measuring tape again. If I can find it. And we're going to see what we're measuring at now. So if you see, we're measuring up at like 37. Let's see if I can put it in focus for you boys. Yeah, there you go. So we're right at like 37. Um, I have to go back and see what we were at before. But pretty good height, pretty good height. I wonder if it's even side to side. It should be. Yeah, it's right at that same 37 height, so. We're even side to side, boys. It's pretty gangster. But yeah, that's how we looking. Just all types are locked up now. Ain't even playing no games. Thing is tall, boys. Real tall. I like it. Yeah, like I said, the only thing, only other thing is to check, see how we're gonna do that old, uh, Set that rear down. See, now it actually, like, whenever you have the front up and the back down before, you could not really tell that it was, like, you know what I mean? Like, cholo out. It was just barely higher than the back. But now, I still want to lower the rear more, too, but we have to do some mods to the exhaust. But, um, either way, once we get the rear down even more, then we're going to get that butt even lower to the ground. But right now, it sits pretty gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like now we're actually looking up a little bit on these boys. Yeah, so you can see right here, we have a little bit left to go on that lower trailing arm before we're hitting frame or anything like that. So we should be good to go a little tiny bit lower in the back. The front, like I said, locked up. That's sick, dude. Yeah, that thing looks sick as heck, boys. We'll see how we do on breaking bolts and stuff like that. Um, once we get, we're going to have to sleeve it or do something. Because that cylinder is, that angle is scary as heck. Uh, I'm going to try and set it down. See how, how it reacts to getting set down. Because that spring on that other side sounds, looks kind of scary to be honest with you. So hopefully it doesn't pop the heck out. All right. So that's all the way down there, which I believe the measurement is probably still gonna be the same because we didn't change anything. The only thing that we may or may not have changed is some of the camber. But for the most part, I mean, I think it's about the same. It may have raised the car up just a little bit maybe. I don't know. We can go ahead and throw the tape on it. Just to like really see. So it's right at like 27 and a half and I think that's what it was before. So it didn't move at all. But our lockup definitely did. Um, they're four inch extended ball joints. But I don't know if they actually raise the height four inches. I would think it'd be more. But I don't really re recall. I want to say... Nah, I don't even want to say nothing because I don't know, boys. But yeah, that's the next plan. So right now, um, our upper link bars are hitting the exhaust. So we need to modify the exhaust. And then we can chop down the spring a tad in the back. Just because right now, I feel like that's like not terribly low in the back. So I'm trying to get it a little bit lower. 
So yeah, like I said, we're probably gonna cut that spring just to where like whenever you set it down, like right now it looks super level. But I'd like for the rear to just sit a tad lower, you know? The front, I mean, with these ball joints, it's kind of fucked. But uh, I guess that's okay. For now, you just look in here and you just see all ball joint. Can't really see the control arm too much, but that's all right. So yeah, that's enough uh, rambling on. We're gonna go ahead and get the front jacked up now, boys, and try to adjust that spring. That way she's sitting nicer in the pocket and doesn't look like it's about to pop out, you know, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, then that'll probably be the end of this video and probably gonna have to try to align it, you know what I mean? So that way she drives without like eating up the tires and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that is the plan, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and jack it up, try to adjust our springs, and uh, then I'll bring y'all back and we'll see how it came out, all right? Alright boys, so after a gang of fighting, we finally got it. So you can see here, our spring, the end is cut like right here. So for us to keep a good cylinder angle, that's basically where the spring has to sit. Now, this, like it's coming out just a hair, it still has the bolt underneath holding the cup to the cylinder. So, that's cool. And then uh, this side is the side that was the issue, that had the problem. So you can see now, it also has the cut right here so I mean you can kind of see the cylinder a little bit it's kind of sketch but it's not too sketch but that's locked up there um, our spring doesn't look like it's gonna absolutely fly out anymore um, we do need a seal seal kit for this cylinder as well as the rear right so but that'll be for another time um, as of right now it's good but you can see it's leaking a little bit of fluid um, yeah, so I had a hell of a time doing that because um, our lower arms, they're pocketed, right? So they're basically like dropped a little bit lower in the bottom of the arm, which is good. You know, like our spring is secure as shit in there. You know, like I don't ever think it'll like fly out. But to be able to remove it, seeing it has these springs are big as hell, and we had extra material in the spring pocket. It was like seized in there, like pressed in there, jammed, boys, you know? So it was a mission to be able to get it, but we got it now. It looks decent. Doesn't look like it's gonna fly out anytime soon, so that's cool. We're locking up and we're sitting all the way down. Um, I tried moving this spring the first time and it had it at a weird angle to where it kept on popping out because this side doesn't have, uh, it's missing the bolt that goes into the, the cylinder to hold the cup to it. So this one, it was popping out and whenever it's not sitting in there, this side will sit up like an inch higher because that extra inch, you know, cause it's not sitting in the, in the little sleeve for the cylinder. So now we're sitting correct boys. Everything is legit. Give you guys a little, just dump it all right so yeah like I said now we're sitting legit um, it sits down we have the same height same measurements from side to side uh, so that's good you know still not very low but if you look in here, we are like maxing out this ball joint, you know? So this is about as low as you can go. If your upper control arm was to go up anymore, it would surely break this bolt. So uh, yeah, that's just something to, to be careful about, but you'll, you'll figure it out, you know what I mean? As you go. So yeah, boys, that's gonna be it for this one. I've had a fun time. The ball joint install was not bad. Trying to get the spring out was a mission. I've been at it for hours, legit. So, yeah, boys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's gonna be it for this one. I'll catch y'all in the next one, boys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Deuces!